we have some color images that we're going to make into pages. And if you have some of these that you wanted to add to your journal, this is the time. It's our mini challenge in the challenge 10.3. We're going to be making pages using these color images. Let's get to it. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have these beautiful poppy images that I wanted to add to my journal. So <laughs> we're going to do that. We're going to do a couple of page ideas using magazines and other items that have colored pictures and um, making things that you can add to your journal. This is our mini challenge in the challenge. And so we are going to be able to add some items to our box of 20 items. If you're playing along with the October one box junk journal challenge, you'll know what that means. If you're not really sure and you want more information, the details videos in the description box down below. It's not too late. You can still join in. And yes, there are uh, prizes for everyone that finishes, finishes on time and posts their journal in a Dear Julie Julie challenge. So um, yeah, so we have our challenge for October. And of course, we'll have a new one starting November 1st. So let's get started on this. So I have pulled... Of course, I saved a bunch of poppy images. I've known for a while that I wanted to do something with poppies. And so the first thing that I have is um, a book page that I took out of a large picture book. Okay. And then I have folded it down so that it will fit into my, um, my journal that I'm making. So... That is page idea number one. It's really simple, large, beautiful, colorful book. And we have gone ahead and turned it into two pages with flips. And so we'll come back to that because we'll be doing more. Okay, so our next one, I have an Edith Holden page from the book. Now, I was thinking about cutting this right down here and um, making tags out of it, but I think I, need, I would rather have a page. And when I'm trying to figure out if something is going to be, you know, if I'm going to be able to get enough out of a page on each side, I'll take paper and just lay it across here to get an idea and and it would I would get great image on both sides but I really do want a page I have this from an old address book that I had and I think these two pages together I'm going to be able to get a page for my journal so I want to make sure that I'm under the five and um well we can use our cutter the you know, my book is going to be five and a half inches wide, so I want to be under under the five and a half inches, and um, and then for this one, I am going to go ahead and um, I'm going to make them both the size of the Edith Holden um, page. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put this on here. And make sure that we're under five and a half. I'm going to go to five and a quarter. Okay, there we go. Okay, was that straight? Nope. And we grab some washi tape from that. <laughs> okay, and so for... For my Edith Holden, we can go to the white, um, to just outside the little white line. That was easy. Okay, and then all of the pieces that I'm cutting off, I can use if I want to. So they're over here in my, my little strip pile. Okay, so... 
there I have my two pages. Now going through the journal, what page do I want to see? Um, I want to see this and I want to see that. So I'm going to turn this over and I, I'm just, what I'm saying is when you're going through, I want to see this and I want to see this. Um, let's see, how wide is this? This is five and a half. I'm going to go ahead and rip the edge. I wanted to make sure I got that 112 because you know I, I really like numbers. I like to have a variety of edges if I can. So this ripping will give me another variety. It also gives me something to use possibly later on. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over this way. And I'm gonna, I wanna put these two together. I don't have a washi that I really, that's just chum chum, chum chum. But I do have a piece from the, um, the dictionary book here that is in my stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to this. And that's gonna, um, be able to put my two pieces together. I'm using this, uh, the Mono Tombow Glue um, Multi XL because it will adhere to the shiny paper that's on my address book. Plus that address book has been um, coffee dyed. So it was in my stash just like that. And... So I've been saving poppy things for a while and I had a batch of poppy images that I knew I would want to, to use. Okay, so there's that. Then I need to do something on this side as well. I have a little piece. Let's see. Um, so this um, this dictionary had a couple of different parts to it. And I don't want to I don't want to lose the, the poppies. I don't mind losing a little bit of the, the address book page. But look at it. Isn't that cool? We've got a, a journaling page over here. That's more pieces. Okay, so um, we're, we've used two images so far. Okay, and your images can be from anything, just need to be um, of your, you know, having to do with your theme. Okay, now remember, mini challenge in the challenge does not have to be for your actual journal. Okay, so this part that I'm doing right here, you can be doing this for another project to be able to add the add-ons into your project. But you can also, because I just got to add some images, and I do need pages in my journal. Okay, what do we got going on here? I think when I moved the thing, I moved the... Okay, well, going back and forth so this is going to go in there easily. Okay, there we go. Okay, so adding two um, pieces to get a page. 
and you, I use the dictionary. That's out of my box of 20. Um, you can use uh, a dictionary for this part if you would like, because guess what? If you do this mini challenge in the challenge, you can add in dictionary pages. <laughs> Yay! So, um, so, so far, we've added three images and dictionary pages. Okay? Woohoo! And so I have two pages ready. Okay? So, um, next, I have these two images and they're both the similar size and of course these would make amazing um cards right i mean they would you just look at them and you go yeah this this would be these should be cards or tags well i'm going to do another page idea because i think i need three um of these image pages okay so you know what and I do like to have a variety of sizes I like my pages a variety of sizes but um Okay, so I have that. Now, you may add a piece of packaging. I ended up, I have this piece that was the perfect size. Okay, so I'm going to get to add this one to use in today's project. And I'll get to add another one of the same thing into my box. So it's a page size. Okay, not the whole piece of packaging but page size okay and then i for me i'm going to go ahead and turn this into a page and i have to decide if i'm going to make it into i don't think i'm going to make them into pockets because um well yeah, I'm not because then I would have to fill it with something. And that's going to give me more more bulk. So, even though I love pockets and I cannot lie, I'm not turning these into pockets. Okay. So, I had this from a little one of those little prayer book type things that you get. It has poems and stuff. And then this was out of my one of my mom's Garden Gate magazine book. And the paper is amazing. It's like really nice, thick um, paper. And I left the number two down there. I love that. Okay. Okay, so this then can go into the journal as another page, okay? And we'll be able to do something like add one of the strips to it, okay? So, you know, remember we did, we have things to add from other things that we've made, Okay, and since this is a mini challenge in the challenge, we don't have to add the three things to this. Okay, now I am going to do something here. I am going to add a piece of washi. So, um, so some type of decoration. You want to put something on the back of your your sheet here. Mm 
Okay. And I think that's, that's going to be good. Okay. But we have taken two like tag size pieces and added them onto a backing. And I have another page to add into my journal. Cause that's one of the, that's the thing that when I'm looking at what I need, um, I need, I need more page, page pieces. Next, we are going to go back to the page that we made with the flips and we get to add a piece of lined paper. This is where you can, we're going to add in our flip flop giving us some extra journaling space. Okay, so I have folded it in half and now I'm measuring to make sure that it's gonna fit inside. Just gonna pull that up just like that. And we'll just use the scissors here. Okay. So that's going to give me a little piece left over. Okay. Now for a flip flop, we're going to want to go ahead and I'm today I'm going to bring the back page over. I'm making sure that I have enough room that, you know, one of those pockets that we made could be possibly added in here. Okay, so and then so I folded it. I now have this little gutter. I'm gonna fold it back to the half to half. Fold it back to half. I'm going to add my glue along along the piece here. Okay, so and then we'll put it in here. Like so, okay. So now I have my page. I'm gonna be able to bring this over and I have all this journaling space that I've added, okay? All that journaling space, okay? So we've added a flip-flop to that page. Now, I have a ledger page or something with lines, okay? So ledger paper or something with lines. I need this to be eight and a half. So what I've been doing is eight and a half inches. So come down. So just like above or in the middle of the 26. And this is a really long, long ledger. You can have any size ledger or anything with lines. Okay, so I have, I've, I've decided on a lined page and now this lined ledger. I have this piece left over. Okay, and I am going to want to fold this because I want it to be a page. And I want this piece to come over. And I'm going to fold it over and in. Okay. And I'm going to line it up to the top because I'm not sure that the bottom is straight. <laughs> and that's okay. Okay. And then on this side... I'm gonna bring it in also. I need to be under 11 inches. Okay, and you can cut this. We could cut that. We could cut that. I like that idea. 
cutting it. Okay. I'm going to cut it between the 12 and the 13. Okay. And I used the the top because it's it's probably straight. Okay, so I have this piece that I can use. Okay, so, so far for this project, we have added in two um, pieces of lined paper. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and fold it on the cold closest line. Okay, and I am I am gonna straighten this out down here. Okay, so that gives me another page to add to my journal um, using lined paper, and of course that could become a a flip-flop in the, if you wanted it to, it could be, a flip inside the page, but you know, I want, I want more pages, right? Okay, so there you go. Really, really simple. And has given us another page, which is exciting. Four pages we've been able to add in this mini challenge in the challenge. Are you, did you, did you need some pages? Okay, so you've used two lined pages. You can add two lined pages to your box. I'm going to add two plain lined papers. So, so far you've added, whoa, a packaging um, page size and a couple of lined papers. Now I could go ahead and add a lined paper and another ledger, but I'm just going to add a couple of lined papers to my box. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to bring out is um, a piece of coffee dyed paper. For this, you can bring out any specialty paper that you want. So if you wanted to add a map, you wanted to add a piece of vellum, but you don't want to um, print on it. Because remember, you can print on anything with a Dear, Dear Julie Julie digital and add it in and that, that counts. Okay. So, so you can have one for your journal and one of the same type page or one for today's project and one can go into your box. Okay. So I have this, um, this came, I, I believe, I'm pretty sure this came from Joyce. It was a really cool little box of of things and um, so I have these other two beautiful poppy images okay and so I'm like okay how can I have this I'm almost thinking you could sew this in that would be really cool with your binding string and then it could be like, okay. But the thing is, is we don't have to do anything with these because we get to add these as an image. Okay, so you get to add let's see, we used one, two, three images, right? We used the two to do that. Oh, the two to do that, and this one. So you've used five images. You can add five poppy images 
or not poppy, whatever your image is that you want. You can add five um, into your box. Okay, so I have these two that I can add to my box. I have this one. And I'm going to have to find a couple more. And they can be anything. They can be a card. They could be a note paper. Um, they just need to go along with your theme. Okay. So I have this. It's not poppies, but it is the right color. And I have this um, tissue. So... there okay so those are going to be my free items that i'm going to add in i get to add five you do not have to okay but i'm going to add these five into my box and i can um, make whatever i need to make out of them and so yeah, so this is pretty exciting. So I get to add the piece that was left over from that. I get to add the strips. I get to add the piece that was left over from that. And let's see, what else? We have this piece and these. Okay, so you get to add your ledger or lined paper. And so two lined papers that can include ledger. You get to add a piece of page size packing paper because you used one here. You get to add one specialty paper. So this can be a map. It can be vellum. It could be noisy paper. It could be Another ledger paper. It could be coffee dyed paper like I used here. And then you get to add in your five images. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I hope that helps you to be able to build pages and to, um, to possibly use some of the things that you weren't able to put in your... Oh, and our dictionary. Let's put that so we don't forget. We'll put a dictionary page. Well, a piece of dictionary. Um, okay. So you get to use um, dictionary pages. Dictionary pages. Free item now. Dictionary pages is a free item. Five. We're using five images. Okay. So these came from magazines and from books and look at they're just going to give me a great variety of and make my journal look so much more eclectic right and then um wanting you to be able to add in that specialty paper so we have that added in there as well okay um, you do not need to decorate these with your three extra things. You just need to find a page that you can do a fold out. Okay. And I've found like map books sometimes are big enough. Your, your margin might be a little smaller. That's okay. But you want to have something that you can open out into flips. And then two that you can put together with a hinge. Okay, so two images put together with a hinge. And two images that are backed. Okay, two images backed onto something. And then you'll have your specialty page. I think that that's pretty cool, and I think this is exciting to be able to add these items to my box. And so, yeah, so if you have been wanting to add a napkin, this might be your place to get to add a napkin. Um, more pages, more pictures, uh, greeting cards, if you had greeting cards that you wanted to add and didn't get to add yet. And I even have, this is a file folder. 
that was in my stash and it's only half of it. I could add the whole thing if I had it, but so yeah, there you go. Some page ideas using random images side by side on packaging side by side with the hinge and your open flip there you go which one's your favorite which one do you possibly already love to do and what are you most excited about being able to add to your box of 20 um i'm just excited to add some pa lined paper and my journaling you know the some more some ledger so I think that this is going to be great I already had printed on some ledger but um you know it's it made me sad that these images were sitting and still sitting in the drawer and I really wanted them to be able to be in the journal. I know several of you have already finished. Congratulations. If you are doing a second journal for the this challenge, um, you can, of course, add these items in for your second journal. Remember that our VIP will be the... I'm going to have to check the dates because... If the third Wednesday is Thanksgiving week, we'll be doing it or the last. Oh, no, we're going to do it the last Wednesday. Um, but I have to check because I we will not be doing um, it Thanksgiving week. So um, just know that it will not be Thanksgiving week. It would move into the first Wednesday of the following month. Okay. Okie dokie. <coughs> Wow. So, uh, Tom and I had a great time over the weekend. We went to the air show on Saturday and on Sunday we went to the real duck races. And so they literally had real ducks and they were in this, this little run and they would have to run and whichever duck got you picked a duck and you got in anyway it was really really fun a totally down home wonderful little um it's called ducktoberfest and they had a raffle and i won and look what i won i won this sketchbook i won a sketchbook i won a package of 36 soft pastels, a box of alcohol markers, the skin tones, and there is a, this yellow that's in here is awesome. So, um, yeah, so some alcohol ink markers, a box of, uh, sketch markers, cool gray colors so they're blacks and grays and this box of ink acrylic art ink primary colors they're really pretty too let's see so they had apparently shopped at ross so the prices on the things were really good but they had several art packs and um, in the in the drawing and that's where I put all my ticket well all four I bought four tickets um, I and I because I didn't want the two they gave away two little pigs um, I did not want pigs <laughs> and they um, and then they had giant totes of emergency food and we didn't win that um these are crayons so i'm going to put this in but look at those great i mean such a variety of colors and i'm going to put those in with izzy's stuff and this little bag was with it and then some aqua flow brush pins so yeah, and I I know I needed those, so that's that was exciting. So I I won this, 
And the, the thing was, is we were leaving and as we're leaving, Tom goes, well, why don't you just give someone your, your tickets? And I was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And I looked over and, and there was the only person that I knew that I had seen there, um, was from church. And so, and also Mary Kay, I knew her from Mary Kay. And so I gave her my tickets and I said, oh, my tickets are in the arts and crafts thing. She goes, and, um, and I was getting ready to say, and if I win, if it, if these tickets win, you can keep it. And she's like, oh no, no, I don't know. I need the arts and crafts. She goes, I'll, um, if you win, I'll bring it to you. I'll, I'll let you know it's, it's for you. And so she ended up with our tickets and somebody else's tickets and mine won. And the really cool thing was there was still like six or seven art packs left. And this was the one I wanted. And, um, but she didn't know which one. And he goes, well, which one is he? And she goes, I don't know. And he picked this one up and handed it to her. So that was awesome. And then somebody else had given her tickets as well. And they ended up winning the giant tote of emergency food. <laughs> So she, she brought us our, um, our goodies and, and it was so exciting and, um, I feel very, very blessed and, and excited to, to have these. Um, and so, yeah, so that was, that was, uh, the weekend and it was great. We really enjoyed it, had a great time at the air show, um, I put a video at the end of yesterday's video. So, well, thank you all so much for being here. And I hope you have an amazing day. We'll be back tomorrow with another embellishment from the one box junk journal challenge. And then on Wednesday, we have week five of the um, collab challenge hop, the J and C fall 22, uh, collab challenge hop. And if you're interested in that, there's a link down below and you can check out week four's playlist. And uh, so yeah, there's the news. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.